Mike, uh, sorry. Oh, Excuse Father me. Trendy. <laughs> ah, good, yes, good. Sorry. I wondered, could I have a quick word with you? Yes, uh, yes. No, because what I no, I know a lot of people are probably, you know, raising eyebrows. <laughs> well, this, of course, is not a sermon on the mount. This is a sermon on the pint, <laughs> as we say. No, uh, the reference earlier in your sketch, your, your charming sketch, may I say that? Yes, yes. Remind me that pints have a spiritual quality, don't they? Because some men drink religiously. <laughs> so, no, no, I, I do little jokes like that at the retreats once a year. But no, seriously, there is a serious side to, to this particular aspect of our lives. We can learn from drinking the habit of religious practice. The pint is something we should strive to be like, not too big-headed. And boys, Maybe even you will achieve a collar one day. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Settle down now. Like a pint, <coughs> like a pint, we should feel lifted up as often as possible. Because our religion, our religion is like a pint, isn't it? Something we should take to ourselves and hold on to, and not something we should throw up, is it? No, this is not. <laughs> We all want to become tenants in the big pub up there where there is no closing time and they are all Sally O'Briens. Real angels. So I say, let Christianity refresh the parts other religions don't touch. If you are to quench the thirst for salvation and get the most important heart of all. Thanks, Mike. So that's all I want to say. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Father Trendy. It's uh, all very well bending the knees as long as you don't bend the elbow at the same time. Thank you.